We have emotions. People always say we don't have emotions. Uh, nerds have emotions. We get upset about things a lot. And I just, I, 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 I like talking about this because it lets me get my emotions out because I get upset about technical stuff that I think is stupid. And the first one, uh, these, they just annoy me. These things that really upset a nerd. Why is printer ink so expensive? I don't understand it. <laughs> Every time I go to buy like a cartridge of magenta, it's like $87. I'm like, why? Where are they finding printer ink? Why is it not good? For, what does it grow on a berry in the Amazon jungles? It's protected by the natives who worship the berry and they will kill anyone who tries to harvest it. So they have to harvest it and then they have to go to the, above the equator and feed it to like uh, uh, albino wolves who then poop it out and then we ferment it for 54 years. And that's why it's $97 a cartridge. <laughs> Makes no sense. I found this graph. Google. Google, Google this. Printer ink prices are not liquid. Standard black ink is 70 cents per milliliter. That is $16,000 a gallon. Yeah, that makes no sense whatsoever. Human blood is 38 cents per milliliter. The essence of human life is cheaper than printer ink. That is wrong on so many levels. We could save your life or buy this cartridge of magenta. We need the printer ink, sorry. Look at scorpion venom. How rare is that? It's cheaper than printer ink. We could print in scorpion venom. Perfumes, the finest wines, bottle. Crude oil is a tenth of a cent per milliliter. A tenth of a cent. They have to drill a mile into the ground. Where are they getting printer ink? The core of the earth? Where is it coming from? <laughs> so when I see this, I get mad. I'm like, screw them. From now on, I'm printing in blood. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Makes more sense. I got an IV right from my arm, right to the back of the printer. I print up a lot of uh, pictures or forms. I'm woozy. I don't care. I'm saving a ton of money. I keep some crackers and some orange juice by the edge of the printer. And I have three cartridges, A, B, and O. That's all I need. And really, you only need O if you think about it. Like five people got that joke. I got to do the Venn diagram, Al. All right, this drives me crazy. I, I, I'm at the airport, I get off to get my bag. Everybody crowds around the baggage thing. You don't know when your bag's coming out, back up. It makes no sense. So here's my idea. This is what we should have. A five foot or six foot buffer zone around. When your bag comes out, it's really simple, folks. You step forward, you pick up your bag, you have a room to get exit and you exit. How hard is that? But people don't do it. So here's what we should do. For a while, they're not going to follow the six-foot buffer zone. But if you step forward and it is not your bag, a catapult will shoot you from the room. <laughs> Can you tell this gets me upset when I see people do this? <laughs> step back. You don't know it's your bag. <laughs> all right, carpool lanes in L.A. I am all for the environment, but L.A., nobody is in the carpool lane. I've never seen anybody in the carpool lane. They're just making it national park land. Let the animals roam free. They will be safe in the carpool lane. Nobody, no, in L.A., nobody wants to ride. It's our alone time, apparently. We don't want to ride with other people. So let's get rid of the carpool lanes. And instead, here's what we should have, a cell phone-only lane. You're on your cell phone. Get in that lane. It just pisses me off. Somebody's in the left-hand lane. Get in the right-hand lane. And they're not going to do that. So instead, here we should do. We should lock the lanes by speed. 55, 65, 75, 85, and then go for it in that left hand lane. <laughs> you had a triple latte. You're in a high-speed chase. That is your lane right there. And we can make it fun. We can post a high score and then your initials. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> See, this is what pisses off engineers and nerds like me. This I don't like this stuff. All right, these maps, these maps are ridiculous. You go to get a cell phone and they're all the same. AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, they're all the same. They show you this map, 99% coverage. We cover everywhere. No, you do not cover everywhere. I redid the maps. This is what they should be. 99% and wherever you are, that's what it should be. <laughs> oh, your house is just out of our zone. You're over there. Oh, we just, oh, we're going to put that in. We plan to get over there. Oh, God, I can't believe you missed that. It's, it's AT&T, we're everywhere you aren't. That's what it should be. So where there's a cell phone tower in my backyard, it's still a dead zone. How can that be? 